Uh, this question is largest subarray length k. So the idea is straightforward. Uh, we need to compute the array indexed by index. So whoever has the greatest value, that will become the largest subarray. So for example, so I compare the first index. Uh, so if they are the same, so I move to the next one. So three, three and two, three definitely greater than two. So this is greater, right? So the next one is what? One and two. So without any question, this is greater. So you don't care about the remaining value. You care about every, you know, the index you compare. And if the index is greater than the other, uh, this subarray is greater. So for example, uh, example one, you have given the integer array and also the integer k. So k represent um, the size of the sub subarray. So again, you can see all the, you can form three subarray from nums. So it will become one four five four five two and five two three. So again, you compare you know index by index. So this is going to be the first index one four five, which is greater definitely five five right. So it's five two three is the one you want to return, and then. Again, this is k go to four, so you will, you know, generate, you know, two subarray. So you you compare index by index again. So one and four, which is, which one is greater? Definitely four, right? So you will return four, five, two, three. All right, this is uh, the approach. So how do we uh, write a solution? It's actually trivial. So we don't want to create create like subarray, right? We want to iterate it with a most efficient solution, right? So what I can do is I'm going to start from the end, but I want to comp I mean I want to grab the Windows K. So this is going going to be the first window, which is going to be the first array, right? The first array I traverse from the back to the beginning. So I was at five, four, one, and then so on. If I if I still have value in in the uh, in front of one, I will keep comparing. Else, I'm not comparing. So I'm looking at this index, right? Four, four, four okay, five, four, one. So this basically is tr trivial. So let's look at this. So if, uh, let me see. So nums array can start from one to the 10 to the nine, and k is between uh, this guy, right? So for the base case, so if k is greater than nums length, I just return no. It's not possible, right? All right, so I'm going to say, okay, max value. So probably better to say go to zero because the value will traverse just from one to, I mean, the minimum is one, right? All right, the max index, I'm giving zero. All right, for in i equal to nums dot length minus k. And then until i greater or equal to zero and i minus minus. All right, so here's the trick. So I want to only, I mean, I compare the value with the max. So if the value is greater than, greater than the max, I reset the max to nums ai. I set the max index ai. And then once I have the value, the max value, right? The max index and max value, I can generate a array, I right? result to new in k. And then I would just append the value. So from max index all the way to max index plus k and i plus plus. And then I just assign value. Result result i equal to it should result i minus max index equal to nums i. So um yeah. So this is the solution. Let me run it. Let me see. Okay. Submit. Cool. So let's talk about this. So max index is what? Max index is supposed to be this guy, right? So, um, and my i, my i is whatever the value is, right? So it's definitely starting from max, max index. You can definitely use in this. I, I believe this is the way you want to use. Instead of i minus max index, just say j. So you start from zero for the integer array result. 
and then you start increasing. So this will be a little bit, you know, understandable to the uh, to the user. So yeah, this is going to be a first solution. All right, time and space. Uh, space is going to be all of k. Time is going to be all of probably all of n, right? You will definitely traverse every single one of them, but with the size of Windows k, right? So this is a solution. So the next the next uh, solution will be a little bit interesting. So pretty much the same. So I'm going to create a max index starting from i equal to one i plus k less than equal to nums of length and i plus plus. So what it is is that if the nums that i is greater than nums that max index, I'm going to assign max index equal to i. So I'm already ignoring zero because I, I'm assuming max index is zero, and then I'm traversing until uh, i plus k equal to the nums that length. So it's something that I um, I can do back to the, I mean, in, from the back to the beginning, or you know, from the beginning to the back. So it, it's the same. But let's do this. All right. So once I know the max index, I can just using the array dot copy of range from nums array, and then this is going to be the you know starting index and end index, and then starting index is max index. And then max index plus k is going to be the end index. So end index, so starting, ending. So this works, right? Let's see who's writing. Oh, yeah, again, this is something else, right? You can do do this one as well. So yeah, either way it's working. Um, so for this one, this is still going to be all of n for the time. And this is going to be all of k for the time and space. So if you have questions, leave a comment, and I'll see you later. Bye.